Like I said, I have never done this before, and and then um, for British for sure, it, it's my soul. Like it's it's my type of style. It's outdoors, so uh, for sure, I would would you would would go for a title. I had um, a tough day today. I had to fight for all, all boats more from sixth place. I managed to get to the first with a good battle. I was top three in the start, but then I came off my bike. I had a big, big crash uh, after 10 minutes. Still, I'm on the podium. That, that's, that's positive. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't get a two stars. I were always around 15 place in the first, first two laps. Second half was a bit better. After maybe four laps, I get to the second place and uh, I was 15 seconds behind Nico. So I was pushing, pushing, pushing and then I get close. Like I was really close, I uh, one second on his wheel. I just ran, ran out of the time. My second motor went well in the beginning. I, I had a whole shot leading half the motor. Full gap on five seconds. But then uh, I had a scary moment of my life. I went off the track in a big, big hole. I, I saved it somehow, but I hit the tree. So I, I damaged my left leg pretty pretty bad, so it's, uh, it's quite painful right now. It's swollen everything. I ran in was non-stop from 10 o'clock a.m. The track was just full of water. So I ended the first lap, I was leading the race. Just really concentrated on the track. I had a good line, so I pulled away. Bobby's picked the bike up when it's been some really big crashes. You know, I've got to Hawkstone Park where we went in 12 behind. We come out 39 behind. So we had Link, final round, Maxis British Championship and uh, uh, what can I say, you know, like I'm, I'm 39 points behind uh, Jake Nichols and uh, had a bad luck, bad luck last, last uh, weekend, broke his uh, leg. Yeah, now I have a quite good chance to get a title, um, so I need just to make two times in top three and you know, like uh, it, it can be happen. But uh, at the moment I'm not thinking about this, um, I just want to at the moment just get on the track, see how everything goes, uh, uh, the good things, the rain looks like this stays away because in the morning it was just, just uh, coming a lot, a lot of rain down. I had also yesterday a little walk on the track, I had been here 2010, so a long time ago. Um, the track didn't change, it's still the same, still what I like. High speed, just uh, one line, so it's also depending a lot of on a good start. To make it easy, I have to get a good start and uh, just stay on my rhythm. Enjoy the track, enjoy the day and um, however, you know, we can uh, get, a, get a title what we are all, all here for.
Right, back towards the finish line. Bobrashev is still there in second place, still trying to break away. We have done today. Uh, we got the title. You know, like uh, it's been it's it's, it's been uh, like difficult difficult races over here because I hadn't I didn't have so much luck. But then then you know I, uh, nothing fair. But unfortunately, Jake got injured and we get more luck. So that was our chance to come in and get the title. So I was stressful before the race, but you know after eight years, uh, this was uh, 2010 last time when I got a title and today again so you know I'm super pumped I'm happy we deserve this and uh, you know a huge thanks to the team all, all the sponsors who support us all, all over the season and uh, yeah um, time to celebrate you now for me it was important to get in top three today uh, which is I have done first moto second second place I finished and second was race it was a bit tough um, as I, I was a bit more stressful and uh, but I was steady you know calm I didn't feel great on the track to push hard Tommy was uh, quicker uh, so he pulled away and then I just keep on keep second place because I, I knew uh, my, my goal is the title you know not to win the weekend and and uh, yeah I like like finishing second and uh, some points ahead in the championship uh, that's that's enough to get a bottle of champagne. With what happened to Jake is very, like, it's unfortunate. Like, we didn't really want to come here in this position, but we came. Uh, Bobby this year, like, the camera shows and the videos show that he's been up there winning races, he's also been off the track, he's crashed. If we've done eight races, he's crashed six of them. Big crashes, the last round, three really big crashes where he could have pulled out, but he kept going, so, I would say for us, we've had a lot of unluck in this championship, but today it's come our way and uh, we'll take it. Like, why not? Like, we, we've been there every weekend. Bobby's picked the bike up when it's been some really big crashes. You know, I've got to Hawkstone Park where we went in 12 behind, we come out 39 behind. So basically, today Bobby had to execute a good day. He came here, he did that. We've got the championship, so we're going to take it and go home. Personally, like all day, I've been close to crying all day because I've not been in this position, which sounds a bit weird, but now I feel quite normal. You know, everybody's here, family, everyone's here today. Um, all sponsors are here today. So to me, yeah, successful, we'll, we'll take it. Um, like I said, there's some sponsors on the bike that have been like really good and this doesn't happen without them and we can't thank them enough for their help to make it happen and the yeah super pumped for everybody involved Bobby's di difficult to explain about Bobby but I've worked with many riders from you know I can go through a list of riders I work with and Bobby to be fair is the easiest best person I've probably ever worked with the guy is like uh, I can say he's a nice guy but he's actually Super, super nice guy. Like, no one will understand. He has a big heart, and his heart is one of the biggest I've seen in the pits. And um, today, it's really nice because he he deserves he deserves this. Like the the, you know, the time he picked it up at Hawkstone, the first crash in the first race could have quite easily come into the pits. Desa Martin, he he wrecked his knee there. People don't know that, but he damaged his meniscus. Then he kept riding, so he's had a lot of pain to deal with, and fair play to him, he's kept going because he's a strong person, and um, yeah, like, uh, to me, he's like, yeah, he's like family to me, he's like really, really good person.